All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching The Eminence and Shadow, Season 2, Episode 5. Um, I'm a bit late to this episode today. Uh, I usually like to be on the episode as soon as it comes out. Except, uh, thank you, Daylight Savings Time, for not making me realize that the, uh, the episode was going to come out an hour earlier than usual. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm like, cl it's close to the usual time it comes out, and I'm like, oh shit, it's already out. Great. Um, but yeah, in the last episode, we were introduced to Sid's new persona, John Smith, who seems to be some kind of spy. Um, they're trying to get money somehow. He's working with the Fox Lady. The overthrowing the government, the money laundering, these, the fucking over all these other corporations. Although in Sid's mind, he wants to close his own corporation because it's becoming too much of a big deal. And then restart a new one. And we'll see how that goes. And we'll see what Shadow Garden thinks of that. Obviously, whatever Shadow says, they will do. So they'll probably see some outstanding, amazing plan that he would just be like, no, I'm just, just closing the business. Um, but yeah, uh, we over half the episode then was also partly about Delta. Um, we hear about Delta's father, who is the chief of the anthropomorphic, the beast people, I guess. Um, and it's kind of hinted out that maybe like in a few trucks, it would go to her homeland and like potentially become the chief. Um, we're also shown this kind of shadowy figure who kind of holds the puppets, holds the puppet strings, I guess. He kind of looks like a beast person from like the silhouette. He definitely looked like he had ears on his head. And um, yeah, that could be Delta's father. Who knows? Uh, I'm very much looking forward to this episode. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Yeah. They're, they're always thinking 10 steps ahead. These other corporations are going to crumble. Oh, that's that's the name of them. The The... The, the technical word for them. Eh? Eh? Are you sure about that? You're not gonna just fall down some stairs? <laughs> eh? Anyway. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> oh god. We can't leave Gamma on our own. <laughs> Look at her. She looks so ready. Eh? Gamma's only 17? What? I thought she was like a adult woman. <laughs> I thought she was in her 20s. Y'all about to be fucked up right now. Yeah? Oh, <laughs> I thought she just blew them back with a blink. Bro, shut up. Strongest of the Clovers? This is going to be a 40 battle then. Yeah? That actually hurt you? Are you serious? <laughs> that was like his strongest attack. And she was like, ow, oh, <laughs> mild inconvenience. Dead? No? Yeah. <laughs> Like, the way Gamma fights. Oh my god. <laughs> she's hella strong, but she's an amateur. Gamma. <laughs> to him, very strong, but to us, you're embarrassing yourself. Yeah, how hard is your head? <laughs> she's so funny. I love her. Yeah, I see why Alpha was like, uh, are we sure about her going? He's wrecking the place. She's just a tank, basically. She's wrecking the place. Oh my god. Oh my... <laughs> Fuck's sake, like Alpha. Like <laughs> Alpha and you were like, oh... <laughs> She's ridiculous. She didn't even land a hit on him. Can someone just come wrap this up, please? <laughs> They're already gone. Well, this is why we've got these two as backup. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh 
Oh, <laughs> sake. Bro, Gamma just needs to stick to, like, running the business. She's destroying the business right now. Again? Oh, my fucking god. About to hit, about to be slashed with the lightsaber. Rest in peace. Oh. Ow. Ow. Rest in peace. Rest in pieces. Oh, no, he's, he's still in one piece. He dead, though. He hella dead. This woman. How were you trained by Sid? <laughs> Sid sorted them right out. Oh, shit. Traumatic backstory. Is that Sid? Bro. Sid, what did you do? This girl's still in the picture. Of, of course, I mean, he goes to school still, so I guess. He obviously let that happen. <laughs> He's such a little shit. Are they eating steam buns? Nice, tasty. He doesn't care. <laughs> She's fine. Yeah, <laughs> they're probably not so fun. You need more power? You should join Shadow Garden. Oh, is this her sister? She's mad about the L she took. He's so unbothered. He's literally me for real. You can have a carefree life when you're basically a god. <laughs> what was that shit about? I don't know. Anyway. Let me, let me keep eating my bun. Is this John Smith? Okay. I mean, he looks pretty cool with the ponytail, I can't lie. Who this? Who are you? Oh, is this the, the, the woman that works under the fox lady? What's going on in the mine? Oh, is this where the print's in the money? They got a whole ass printing machines. Crazy. Yeah, and they look as shoddy as the real ones. Um, not really. Is there? I don't need to bullshit. Yeah? You're just chatting shit? <laughs> yeah? You, you both had different answers there? True. Nobody else cares enough. <laughs> They're really about to overthrow a whole currency system. That's crazy. Oh yeah, she wants to take on this uh, this dude. Oh, so it was Geten that did this. I thought it was Sid. He was standing there. So then he did that to her, then maybe Sid fucked him over? Wouldn't that make Sid and her about the same age then? She looks older. So Shadow Garden have found Sid's fake bills. So Shadow Garden's going against it now, without realising. It feels so weird. Sid doing his own thing and Shadow Garden trying to figure out it's him. <laughs> Who indeed? Alright, so more people than just Sid have figured this out. Okay. The poorly made one is yours, buddy. <laughs> so these two can't figure it out. The cashier somehow figured it out. I still can't tell which is the... Probably the better... Probably the one on the right is Sid's one. Because it looks slightly better made.
You're gonna do counterfeit bills as well? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, these last two episodes are going over my head. That's the real shit we need. We need that. Sid should just steal all this. What is happening? Good question. Oh, we're back in the lawless sea. What is that? Shadow? Okay. Is this 664, 665, and 666? So are they about to intercept one of Shadow slash Fox Lady's trains? Is Shadow going to be on this? Are we about to get... Are we about to get John Smith versus Shadow Garden? No way. Maybe not, but it'd be funny if we did. <laughs> I mean, did nothing. <laughs> I I really want him to be on this train. Is he? Oh, he is absolutely on the train. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Why they got to be tied up like that? Oh my god, yes. <laughs> I can't believe it. He looks fucking cool, not gonna lie. This is the first time Shadow Garden are going up against people that they can't fucking deal with. John Smith. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Why do they gotta be tied up like that? Yeah, anime? Oh, damn, he threw them out of the train? Well, he's not gonna kill you, at least. Like how Rose still uses her real sword when the rest of Shadow Garden will use like slime swords. The first, sh the first actual problem Shadow Garden have encountered, and it's Shadow. <laughs> oh, this shit is so funny. The the villains for Shadow Garden have been so boring so far. The Shadow has to become one. <laughs> right. So that was the Eminence in Shadow season two episode five. Uh, another very good episode. I, th this muddy shit, I, it's slowly kind of, kind of, I'm slowly kind of understanding it. Um, but like, it's like back and forth. We're making counterfeit bills now. We're making counterfeit bills. And our counterfeit bills are actually better than your crappy bills that don't actually have any worth. And now Beast Dude wants to make his own counterfeit bills of its own bills. I'm like, fuck. Okay. Um, John Smith's a funny character. I, <laughs> I, I love the fact that he just went up against his own goddamn group, his his own army, just because he's because of his own silly plan, which he hasn't informed them of. But um, yeah, it makes for an interesting plot point. So I'm here for it. Um, overall, a very good episode. I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode or my reaction. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.